What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we are looking at the Fitbit Versa 2. This is the exclusive Amazon edition. Uh, I'm guessing it's the color that's exclusive. They're calling this Bordeaux in Copper Rose. It looks really nice. Now this has built in Alexa, which is awesome. Whoa, oh, that was upside down. Okay, wow, there it is. It comes with an extra band. Um, so if you have a larger wrist, you can swap it out, which is nice. We got the manual down here at the bottom. All right, so we have the charging dock. So you pinch it and it opens up just enough to put the watch in there. All right, and the watch. Oh man, that is a nice looking watch. All right, there we go. Wow, look at that, that looks really clean. Now the display on it is a 300 by 300 AMOLED touch screen, which is great. It also has an always on display feature. The casing itself is aluminum and the rest of it is rubber. Um, I think this is probably the same material, but it's got that same copper rose, which is actually a really nice looking color. Does that have any power? Oh, it does have power, nice. Oh, so it's telling me in a whole bunch of different languages to get the app. Okay, so we got the app. We'll go through it. Finish setup. Are you ready to finish setup with your Versa? Um, yeah. Set it up now. Let's go. Allow Fitbit. Sure. 7005. Cool. See, it already picked it up and everything. I'm, man, this is the easiest setup for a smartwatch I've ever gone through. Is it already done? That took a whole five seconds. Man, this is quick. Versa 2 is now connected. Okay. Update version two to the latest. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Oh, also while we're waiting, I just remembered that it is waterproof up to 50 meters. So if you're an active person, maybe you're a swimmer or something like that, you should be just fine with this swimming in the pool. Whoop, it just vibrated. Tips, oh, I think it's done. Follow these tips to learn how to use your Fitbit. Oh, there we go. There's the home screen. All right, nice. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like the way this feels. It's super smooth. If you ever actually used the iWatch, this is very reminiscent of it, at least the way it feels and how responsive it is. I mean, look at that, it's very responsive. So you swipe to the left and then you get your apps such as exercise, timer, alarm, Spotify, relax, weather, music, settings. Now you can also install Pandora on here so you can put more apps on it, which is pretty nice. So swiping up reveals your health stats like steps and sleep, swiping down, is just like on a phone, goes to your controls. So you can go straight into your music controls. You go straight into payments. You can set the brightness from normal, max. We'll put it on max. Screen wake. So you can actually set the uh, screen awaken uh, by motion or by the button. Oh, also uh, keep in mind, I didn't get this watch for me. This is from a lady. That's a good looking watch though. It's pretty clean looking. Okay, so here is the home screen of the app. Starts off with what you've done today in the sense of like steps and uh, oh, floors, like how many steps. Oh, it can detect if you've been walking up steps, which is really cool. How many miles, calories, uh, wear your Fitbit to bed, track your exercise. I mean, you've got everything in here. Time to get moving. Oh, that's really cool. So the sedentary reminder, when you have this on, 10 minutes of every hour, it, it shoots you a little message basically saying, get up. You know, just move around for a, a couple minutes, just take a little walk, stretch maybe. You can also log some water. So this will, you can track your uh, your daily water intake, which is really important. Start logging your food. You wanna start getting into some serious dieting or just, you know, maybe just become a little more conscious of what you're eating. Start putting your food in there and then see what it looks like at the end of the day, like how many calories you've really consumed. Remember, calories in, calories out. Also under edit, you can go in here and remove or add more features on the today items. You can go to devices and then you got your options of setting up Amazon Alexa, your media, wallet, how to use apps. Um, so you can go into different apps. These are the, the pre-installed apps. Um, but then you can go to all apps and they have their own uh, little app store. So you can download all kinds of stuff for it. Even Uber, you can even put Uber on there. How cool is that? Little calculator, Pandora. Starbucks, gotta have that. But you can download all these different watch faces. So if you don't like the standard, I mean, you can totally customize it. That's really cool, I like that. What's going down? Brother, can you do me a favor? I just need somebody to text me. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, cool. Hey, look at that. Cool, so you can click on it, you can mark it as red, you can hit reply, open, uh, open? Oh, and then it opens on the phone. Oh, that's cool, okay, okay, okay. I can go straight to reply, tap to start, oh. I read you loud and clear, test, test, one, two, one, two, over and out. 
hey, that's really accurate. That works really well. The microphone and the voice recognition is really good. So that works really well. I think this is a great little watch. I think she's gonna really like it. One thing I really like about this though is that it has interchangeable bands. So even if you're not happy with the, the current band or you wanna change it up a little bit. So definitely check out Tribit. I think they go all the way down to like 50 bucks and they're really good. They've been around for a hot minute. Anyway guys, that is it. I'm gonna leave links down in the description below as usual. I leave it in your hands, but as for now, get out of here. Okay, well now we just gotta wait. <laughs> Voice and your privacy, got it. Try it on, yeah, okay. Change out the band, yep. Yeah. Quick tips, okay? Swipe left, all right? Swipe up, okay? <laughs> Swipe down, all right? I'm gonna get to all that. <laughs>